Old Alabama Gardener, and in this video, I'm talking about how to have healthier joints, knee, hip, fingers, thumbs, health, how to have healthier joints as we grow older. Folks, in this video, I'm continuing to talk about health. Now, you know I'm a strong believer in taking care of your health so that you can live to a ripe old age like I am at 80 years old and still be able to get around and do things. Now, I know many of you are concerned, especially as we grow older, about joint problems and the possibility of a hip or knee uh, replacement surgery. Now, I don't think that's something that has to be the outcome for you. But I do think you have to do some things, and probably right now, to uh, prevent that from happening. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is some of that things that I think uh, you should be doing. If you wait until the cartilage in your joint, say for example your knee, is completely wore out, where you've got bone on bone, then you don't have anything left to rebuild. In other words, all the cartilage is, go cartilage is gone, and you probably are not left with anything other than knee uh, replacement surgery. So the thing to do is to start right now. Take care of the joints that you were born with and do it in a way that they will last you throughout your whole life. So in this video, I'm presenting something I think you should consider. And I think it will help you to have healthy joints and be able to walk without the pain caused by degenerative uh, joints that happens to many people. Now I have some charts near the end of the video that will give you some more information about how to take it, how much, how often, things like that. So I encourage you to stay watching all the way to the end of the video. And if this is your first time uh, watching some of my videos, well I appreciate you watching. I really, really do. And I appreciate it if you will subscribe because that helps me to continue making other videos. Now, as we grow older, our body actually decreases or stops making collagen. And that's why we eventually wind up with arthritis and joint problems. The point that I'm trying to make here is don't wait until your joints are totally destroyed before you start doing some corrective action. Now, a good co collagen doesn't have any flavor, so I like to add some things to make it have a flavor, some things that I like. Now you don't have to heat the water up if you don't want to. Uh, you can drink it cold or you can heat the water up in the microwave if you want to. Now here you see me using the word that it may improve, and that's because I'm not a doctor. I don't have any positive uh, proof that it helps, but I know from my own experience it helps me, and I believe that it will help you. I will put the name of the collagen that I'm using uh, down in the description box below this video.
Now you can put as much or as little of the green onions as you want. I like it in there for the flavor. Now this container is the collagen that I'm using and um, it recommends two scoops which is about 12 grams and I do this twice a day. Now as you see, I'm using chicken bullion, but you could use beef bullion too if you wanted to. It would do the same, but just have a different flavor. And you could put as much or as little as you like, depending on uh, the flavor that you want in your, uh, in your hot bullion there. The chicken bouillon is cold. It's been in the refrigerator. So it takes a little bit of stirring. It might do better with a whisk, but it takes a little bit of a stirring to, uh, to get it to dissolve and mix all in with your uh, collagen. Now, when you do some research on this, you're going to run across the term collagen loading. And all that means is that your body is probably already somewhat depleted of collagen. And so what you do is you take a lot over a short period of time. Hi, right, this little mug that I'm using here has a, a thick walls. It's a little Japanese mug. And the reason I like it is because with the thick walls, it holds heat so much better. Now in this taste test, uh, you, it looks like I just got up and I did. You're supposed to do this uh, on an empty stomach. It's better if you do it on an empty stomach. So this was like early in the morning. Uh, I hadn't even put a shirt on yet. I just just come out of the bathroom and got busy making my uh, hot collagen uh, morning drink. So forgive me if it looks like I hadn't even combed my hair yet. So here is our collagen, uh, it's got a little bit of uh, Japanese miso in it, and it's got a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon paste in it, and about I forgot one thing, I want a couple dashes of soy sauce in it. Now we're ready to give it a taste. That's good, and it's good for you. It's going to build your collagen up in your joints. Really, really good. You notice I had two, two scoops in here. Now I'm going to go in, sit down in front of the computer, sip on my collagen drink here, and look at my email or do something on the computer.